should I do this week? Uh, all right, no slacking off. I don't know how long's left is the problem. I haven't been to school for two years, uh, so I don't. I can't remember when it ends. Um, strong, 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 strong. Because I doubt I need any more spells. I think blue has usually been enough to take me through the whole game, so it should still be now. As I'm walking across the grounds, I see a group of people up ahead near a makeshift sign. When I get closer, I see that it reads dance lessons, $20. Dance lessons? Jacob suddenly steps in from the crowd and bows at me. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, that could have been awesome. Instead, I bought a tiara. Ah, <laughs> oh, I suppose I look like a twat now. That's the name of the game. I promise to make you light on your feet so you can make a better showing at the Mayday Ball. Mayday. All right, so it's going to at least May. How exactly? I'll dance with you, give you a few pointers. Isn't $20 a little high priced for a single dance? I'm worth every dime. You absolute prostitute. No, really, it's a fundraiser. Every class is expected to contribute to the ball. And since this is the first formal dance some people have been to, this will give them the chance to polish off rough edges. I'll pass. Teach yourself. I'm not sure I would have liked to have done that anyway. Let's face it, I'm going to be alone slash together with someone at the ball. You'll see what I mean, cryptic clues. <laughs> right. Uh, again, 27 strong. 28. I should have taken gym all year. Look how easy it is. Uh, well, let's study. There's Minnie here. No, still shagging Kaya by the looks of it. Next week. We're plowing through these weeks. I thought it I thought they really didn't think there was that much of this game left. This is it, the end of the school year. Two more days of classes, then final exams, then the ball, and then we go home. <sighs> it almost is emotional. This is like the first game I'm ever gonna complete on this channel. Um alright, let's take our strong to 30. I am actually gonna save it before the dungeon. Cause YOLO. I must stop saying that. On Tuesday morning, someone knocks on the door. Good morning, here are your exam schedules for the today. She hands us a piece of paper. Wait, there's a mistake. We're all scheduled for the same time. Didn't you know the final group is a group exam? No, but at least you did. Oh, we don't have to do it with you, does it? Does that mean if one of us fails, we all fail? I'm not sure. I guess we have to find out. Okay, taking Jim. Afternoon hallway. After the class period, we arrive for our exam as instructed. I'm going to save it. I'm going to do it on screen. If you're wondering what the two other games are, I'm, uh, I'm trying to romance Grabner. Because <laughs> I did say at some point in the comments that I would rather shag Grabner than be with Ellen. So I was genuinely trying to. Uh, but it's a lot of effort. All three of us. Hello, my spirited fillies. God, if there was an option to kill you, by God, I'd kill you. Today's exam works a bit differently than usual. You're all going into the dungeon together. Your task is to find the crystal orb and use your energy to light up before time runs out. It will not be easy to find and you will face many dangers, so you need to work together to conquer this challenge. I assume if I screw this up, I'm fucked. So I, I will go back and do it if I pause it up. But let's try and do it first time, right? She claps her hand and the world starts to spin. It turns out she chucked acid in our mouths. For a moment after the teleport, I'm not sure what's happened. All around is complete blackness. Am I in a dungeon? Am I lost somewhere in a void? I'm standing on something, I think. <gasps> oh no, it's just robe at night. Then Ellen casts the light spell and our surroundings become dimly visible. We are in a vast, dark space, empty and silent, far from any wall or landmark. Put that light out, it might attract monsters. But we can't see. If we all huddle around it, the light won't get too far. We crouch close to together. Okay, now what? We wait for a moment, but this time, no booming voice speaks overhead. Apparently, Professor Podstam's instructions are all we get. The rest is up to us. 30 health, 53 magic. Well, let's see which way we need to go. She casts a spell and the air sw around us swifts faintly. That's strange. That usually gives me a direction. I guess we'll have to look the hard way. The crystal has to be up there somewhere. This place is huge and we have a time limit. We need a plan. I have an idea. They both stop and look at each other. 
We need to find the crystal, that's the goal, that's how we win. We need to find the boss monster. There's bound to be one, and if we don't handle the main threat, it could sneak up on us. Ellen's right, if the crystal that matters, we could defeat dozens of monsters and still fail the exam if we don't reach the goal in time. Why am I automatically siding with Ellen? What is it with this game that just wants to destine me with her? <sighs> I don't know about dozens, but I'd like to try. Some other time. Sure, fine, so how do we do this? We don't know how big this place is, so but it's pro obviously pretty big. And there's a time limit, so I think the trick here is going to be figuring out how to search most efficiently. Do you guys know Fast Beach? No. I do. Great. What we do is we both need to connect Virginia for now while we're all in the same place. Then keep that connection going. The way that we can split up and keep in touch. Okay. I concentrate. 14 magic. Wow. Virginia suddenly laughs. You guys are breaking my main tickle. How long will this last for? I'm not sure, but if the connection drops, stop what you're doing and hold still. That way we'll, you'll still be in a known location we can re-establish. Anyway, we should move out. There are probably traps that don't run, and use detection spells if you have them. If you see anything, crystals, monsters, anything, stay still and think it. Uh, I can use magic from the other world, right? So, that should be alright. We split up, moving through the darkness. There's an awful lot of darkness out there. If I do use any detection spells, I'll have to cast them many times over to do any good. Track scent, detect charm, true sight, spirit echoes, not right now. Let's track scent. I check for trance cells as I move. There are definitely at least three monsters somewhere in this dungeon. I'm not sure exactly what kind. Nothing I've sensed before. That information doesn't really help me find the crystal or avoid traps, though. But if I follow those traps, it's just least possible that the posters will be near the goal. I don't even get to move myself. This is it? It's like options. Ugh. I get turned around a few times, and I think there's some sort of enchantment changing my path. But between tracking and my mental contacts, I can't get too lost. After a while, the mental connection between me and Virginia appears to fade, and then finally snaps. Luckily, I'm able to cast the fast speak spell again and carry on. We creep around comparing notes on what we're seeing, and at long last, we strike pay dirt. There's a strong magical signature in one direction which must be the crystal we're looking for. Unfortunately, there's also a group of monsters in the vicinity. We can go around them, but if we get to the crystal, they'll probably notice us. Ellen insists that violence is not the best answer, but there are too many of them to teleport away. Someone will have to act as a lure and get them to leave the crystal alone. So, I'm going to be the bait, am I? And naturally, since I'm the best runner, the job of bait falls to me. That's what I get for being 30 strong. My job is to find the monsters, get just close enough for them to motor me, then run like a rabbit. When I get far enough, Ellen will toy plot me. Of course, that sounds a lot easier as a plan than when I've actually got shadows snapping at my heels. Well, I mean, it could be a ghost for all I care. I'm pretty fast and so are they. I'm, I'm, I might need to slow down so they teleport and grab me safely. One of them manages to slash me with its claws, so they're fairly dangerous. I've got 30 health. Hurry up, Helen! Finally, I feel the teleportation take hold. Are you okay? I'm fine. So this is it? It looks magical, all right. <laughs> it looks magical, all right. It looks like a fountain, which someone's got one of those bubble machines and just tried to pass it through the ring. How do we make it work? So I assume this is a test as to how much health and magic you've had. And if it is, I can only thank my subscribers for getting me that high, or I'd be buggered. I don't know. She said we should put our energy into it. Look, there are little indentations around the edge. I think we should put our hands there. Virginia steps close and touches the rim of the pedestal. Uh, energy sparkles to a life within the crystal. My turn now. I stole a strange, rushing sensation as power flows out of me and into the crystal. Finally, Ellen approaches the crystal. When she touches it, it throbs with light. So I've still only got 12 magic left. Does this not work? Did we do it? The familiar sensation of teleportation washes over us. Oh yeah! Oh! What you gonna do, game? Just did your final dungeon! Yes, come on! Celebrate! Celebrate! Victory dance! Oh, if you can see me now, I'm giving it a jig. I'm giving it my best. It's a jig, alright. Come on! We find ourselves standing in the sunlight of the main quad. Congratulations, all of you. You have successfully completed your freshman year. Woo! Feeling good. And that will be five merits for each of you. 
Now go and relax, you have a dance coming up to enjoy. We did it! We're done! Whew. Oh yes, there are no classes today or tomorrow. Everyone's relaxing, making plants for the dogs, and getting their pictures taken for the yearbook. I, <laughs> I need the product key for that, and I'm not sure I've got it. Funny, at my old school, picture day was near the beginning of the year, and here it's almost literally last minute. The whole thing has to be finished overnight. This is it, the last day. After the dance, my parents will come and take me home. Which means I need to sort out what I'm doing for the dance. All this time, Ellen's been telling me to wait, to keep quiet, to keep secret. Maybe now, at last, we can get started. Eek! She grabs the box I barely had noticed and shoves it under a pillow in her bed. Um, hi. You couldn't have knocked? But I live here. And that is exactly what I wanted to wait. Why I wanted to wait. How am I supposed to have any secrets to surprise you with if you're in my room and watching me get dressed? I won't peek. You're not supposed to see my dress until you meet me for the dance. What is this, a marriage? Oh god, actually, no. I'm, I'm not even going to joke because it might meet you. That's how a date works, right? We could give each other a corsage, but I don't think Professor Potsdam would like it if we tore up the flowers. Right. So, if I'm not supposed to see you get dressed, and I'm supposed to meet you somewhere else in order to escort you for the dance, we're escorting each other? Where am I supposed to get dressed? Oh, right. I hadn't thought of that. I guess I could get dressed in the bathroom, but you might get your clothes dirty. Ugh. I can only sigh. Well, what would you suggest? She looks back and forth between the bed and me. How about you turn your back and let me sneak out of here? Then I'll get dressed in Lena's or Pastel's room. I'm sure she won't mind. I'll meet you in front of the gym this evening. All right? All right. It's really rather cute seeing her take charge like this. So now I need to get ready. Can I just turn up my school robes? No, I can't. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, let's try and make this as horrible as we can! Oh, oh, that is awful. Oh, that is awful. It's like, imagine if a pink dress and, like, you got diarrhea. That's what I'm imagining. Alright. What's this? Oh my god, it goes brighter. Oh, wow. Dumb. It's dumb. <laughs> it's dumb. Can I get my star wand? Put it on. Ah! Alright, I gotta put up a party dress. Alright. Done. I wait in the darkness for my day to arrive. Um, Ogu? Prom date. Let's get in. Do I look alright? You look adorable. Thanks! You look pretty nice too. So what now? I guess we go in? Um, she holds out her hands to me, saying nothing, except with her eyes. Oh. <laughs> Good God. I place my palm over hers and squeeze her hand. Let's go. The ceiling shimmers with translucent rainbow spheres. Like enormous soap bubbles that never burst, the walls are masked with climbing ivy and the stage is surrounded by flowers. Where? Where? The, the, the walls are not masked by climbing ivy. The stage is not surrounded by flowers. It looks like they're fucking ducklings. I think the only thing that's changed here, they just put a few bubbles in. The girl's standing on the stage. I think she's a senior in Stake Hall, wears a long white dress and a wreath of flowers and silver stars. No one is dancing yet, instead we all wait in slow moving line. Every guest of the dance, either alone or with a date, or dates in some cases, ooh, hello, <laughs> must process across the gym floor and bow or courtesy to the Queen of the May. Then they stand outside and the next subject approaches. It means everyone has a moment in the spotlight to show off her clothing and partners. Ellen's hand is warm in mine and the smile of her face is radiant. We curtsy and withdraw. We wait quietly with the rest of our students as the processions continue. The very last girl to walk up the aisle is a junior that I don't know. 
whose hair is both blonde and pink at the same time. Instead of curtsying before the stage, she walks up the stairs and kneels before the queen, who places the hand who places the crown of flowers on her head, I do apologise. Everyone applauds, then, then the music begins. You know, I don't actually have a lot of experience with dancing. Especially with a girl. Well, I don't know everything either. We look like we're both wearing curtains. We both look at each other, confused and shy, and then, and then and suddenly Ellen laughs. I wish I knew everything. Even if it means turning into Professor Potsdam. That wouldn't be so bad. It really would. Maybe, but I'd much rather be here with you than her with her. Oh, why are you here with me? Uh, I mean, I know you said, but... But what? It's hard to believe that anyone would be dancing with... Be dating me. Except as a joke. You know what, I was actually genuinely going to reject her, but I feel, I feel I'd get slammed. Uh, not only by the game, but by you guys. You think I... No, not really, I don't think you're like that, but... I know how I always wanted things to be, and I know how things usually are. I kept putting you off and saying I had a good reason. But mostly I was giving you time to change your mind or get involved with someone else. The game didn't give me the chance to get involved with anyone else. And then it wouldn't be my fault and it wouldn't be your fault. And we could just let it go and I could remember the romance we almost had. No hard feelings. Do you want me to leave? No! Life has gotten kind of complicated lately and every time I got a handle on it, it changes again. I like knowing how things work. I like doing things the right way. I like dressing in a curtain, but I also know that if I want to learn, I have to try. But I'd like to try dancing with you now. Yeah. Good. So who leads? <laughs> I lead. You've got better hips. Together we take the floor. I put my hands on Ellen's shoulders, blushing slightly at the warmth of her skin. Her cheeks are pink too, but her eyes are sparkling at me. As the song goes on, we relax, moving together more comfortably. Finally it ends and we stand there, smiling at each other. Oh my god. So, if this were a perfect storybook romance, what would happen now? Are you sure you want to find out? God. I see where this is going, and I've seen where it's going for the past five months of this game, but okay! I'm sure. Well then, something like this. She leans forwards and kisses me, soft and sweet. That's nice, isn't it? Um, do you guys really want to see this? Shall I skip forward? Am I really that dark? I look Moroccan. <sighs> All right, come on, let's go forward. Flushed from the dance of the warmth and the nearness of her, I kiss her back. Yeah, <laughs> we can see that. When we finally part, I half expect the room to break out in applause. But why should they? We're just a perfectly normal couple going about our lives. Just a couple dancing together, surrounded by sparkles on a night of magic. Uh, apparently, being a lesbian in this school is actually quite normal. Um, Virginia and... I can't remember who it was, Pastel, had a conversation earlier about how there were too many of them. And or someone messaged me saying that that actually refers to there are too many gay people. So there you are. That's nice, isn't it? Oggy Piggy. <laughs> Oggy Piggy. And Ellen Middleton. Ellen dance photo now added to the gallery. You know, if we grow up <laughs> and like have kids <laughs> and the kids are like, Mummy, Mummy, what did you look like when you were young? This <laughs> is like, I wore these glasses all the time. <laughs> oh, God. I probably find that a lot funnier than you guys do. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I've gone. I'm sorry. I've gone. <laughs> Let's get on. Uh, and so the school year came to an end. We were freshmen no longer. Over the summer, we, were, we would look back at our yearbooks and remember the friends we had made, while thinking about the adventures still to come. There's a lot of magic out there waiting. Ah, there we are! The end. 
to Magical Diary. Future career, impossible architecture voted most likely to go regimental. In dreams and in love, everything is possible. Ellen. Horses <gasps> forever! See you next year, Mini Cochran. Upload yearbook page. I will probably do that off camera. But, <sighs> wow! The, uh, the game's ended. It's uh, my first ever Let's Play that I finished. I know that I gained a lot of people, uh, subscribers, because of people who watched this series. So I do thank all people who have watched all this all the way through. I said, I do this as a hobby, right? I do this every time I get an hour here free to just piss about and play a game and it's really really nice having people watching and uh, waking up in the morning and seeing there's three or four new comments on my video it, it, it it's a great feeling so i really do thank everyone who's got this far god forbid if you have that you've got this far and yeah th thank you very much for watching my name's been tenorium and this is the end.